beauty of the C700FF is that it has a full frame sensor, which means a couple of things. Firstly, you get fantastic shallow depth of field when you want it, and also you can put anamorphic lenses on it. I've always liked anamorphics. It helps us make sure the audience is seeing what we want them to see. So to have anamorphics combined with a full sensor camera, wow. We really put these cameras through the test. We had two full frame C700s. The first day was all spherical and the second day was all anamorphic, just to showcase the new camera's capabilities. Well, the first day, we used the Talias from Leica for the primes and we used the Zeiss zooms. And then the second day, we had the Hawk primes and the 80 to 180 and then the Ingenue zooms. I had always wanted to work with Nigel Dick. He is a legend in the music video world from when I started and was shooting a lot of music videos. I've been very lucky in my career. I've done nearly 700 productions, so I've had lots of different DPs to work with. So I'm having a lot of fun working with Nancy. And the thing that I love is that she obviously has a great history in drama. So she's bringing her drama list of things for me to remember. It's actually quite instructional for me and I'm enjoying the experience. I really tried in the interior to push the camera to its limits in terms of latitude. Kept a lot of areas dark. The xenon was eight stops over at times and it really held. When we were on set at the boxing gym, I felt that the skin tones really were differentiated. I had an African-American trainer. His skin was just flawless in terms of the definition, the color. I had our two main boxers. They had very different skin tone. And I was very impressed. It just fell right into a perfect color correction that I was just very pleased. Recorded in 6K, we're going to be showing it in 4K. And we were able actually to check pushing in on some of the frames to see how they would hold. And of course, there was no issue. Day two was a really busy day. We had to get so many shots that had been boarded. At the end of the night, we could get this beautiful shot of the city with a rack focus and looking at the bokeh. We tilt down from a dark sky into the city. It was very dark in the foreground. We lit our two motorcyclists just with a sky panel. The bokeh at the end, I think, worked really well. I was very impressed. The camera is very ergonomic with a real viewfinder, extremely light, fits on the shoulder nicely, on and off in a minute, steady cam to studio mode, and so it was really easy to work with. So I worked on the first C300 Mark I video when it was first introduced, and from where it started, from Canon started, to where it is now, the Cinema EOS setup, is night and day difference. We have user menus that make sense. We have a nice form factor. I'm able to power all my accessories as an assistant, and there's no reason why you can't use it on any movie or feature that you want to use. I viewed the cameras on a Canon 24-inch monitor that was terrific, and I then also had two Canon 17-inch monitors side by side so Nigel could see A and B. And when I wasn't operating, I got to watch myself. It's always a, an issue. I love to operate, but you know, in this digital world, the monitor becomes the god. I was fortunate to have some really good looking monitors.
the Canon C700FF, which stands, in my language, for flippin' fantastic.